This is a very quick review of the three drone cameras available, the GoPro for the Karma, the Unique Q500, and the new Mavic Pro. I have been flying the Unique uh, Q500 for the last year. It has a great 4K camera on, on it with good saturations, color, balance, uh, the whole thing. Of course, the GoPro has been around for a long time, and it's the, new, it's the camera on the Karma. It's uh, a much wider angle. It's 118 degrees, uh, super wide angle lens with quite a number of option settings that you can put on the camera itself. The Unique Q500 is uh, almost the same, 115 degrees. Uh, the, the balances settings are available as well to change and has the beautiful smooth gimbal on the uh, drone which makes it very nice for aerial photography. Mavic uh, has a much narrower 78 degree field of view. It uh, has to be focused each time and where you tap on the screen will determine where the focus is set. If we compare the full frame of the Mavic Pro with its narrower angle against a cropped version of the other two, we'll be able to have a look at um, sharpness and color uh, balance. These are all at zero settings right now, so just the uh, default settings on the cameras. If we have that Mavic Pro one and compare it to, we see that actually the Q500 still looks a little bit sharper and better um, saturated in, in my eyes to uh, the Mavic Pro. And then if we do the same with the GoPro and uh, crop down a chunk of the center and lay it down on the Mavic Pro, it's not even close. The uh, Mavic uh, Pro has a much nicer image and balance than the GoPro does. So the Q500 is the is my standard to beat and you can pull frames out of the video using a software like Shave Video and pull out 8, eight megapixel single frames so that's a good way to look for edge distortion and uh, we'll pull a GoPro out here. It's actually got a pretty good tonal range, good saturation and fairly reasonable sharpness. Pull the Q500 out a full frame seen some chromatic aberration, some distortion, so I'm not quite as good. Take a piece out of the Mavic Pro here and uh, it's a little bit blurry, uh, but overall pretty good definition, no distortion and good exposure renditions. So overall uh, about 90% of the quality of the camera that I'm used to, um, superb settings on board on the transmitter, easy to edit, and unbelievable little package to fly very stable very easy to fly definitely going to be added to your uh, new aerial photography kit thanks for watching